Okay, so here we have my third DIY project. And if you pick it up, you can see there's a volume and pitch pots there. A power jack and an output jack on the top, or excuse me, power switch and an output jack, a couple of sensors, an AC jack, which is technically a DC jack, but you know what I mean. And that's pretty much it. So you're thinking, what the heck is this thing? Um, so this, for starters, this jar I got at the Spanish grocery store up the street, um, it was a chicken bouillon jar and I just really liked it. So <laughs> that's what I used for the project. Um, there is a nine volt battery right about here and where my thumb is. And then of course, uh, AC, you can power with either one. I've got it powered with a nine volt right now. So you're thinking, what the heck is this? Well, I have a little amp here. Let's plug it in. So plug it in, plug in the output jack there, and then we'll hit the switch. And right away we hear some drone. So if I grab, you can see what these do. Pitch, of course. We get low, we get into some square wave bass kind of stuff. Really low, but let's go up kind of more into a range like this. And volume, one thing to note about volume, notice it cuts out really quick and then it kind of jumps really quick. I used a linear taper pot here because um, I used stuff I had around for most of it and I probably should have used an audio taper pot so that may be a future mod that I do. One other future mod I used an eighth inch out because again I used jacks I had around and I probably should have used a quarter inch because it does come out at um, approximately line level so you know integrating with amps and things would make more sense to have a quarter inch jack so those may be future mods that I can do but before we go any further what the heck is this thing you're, you're thinking so um, it is basically a very crude theremin so there's the pitch I'm going to take the volume back a little, and there's the volume. So between the two, you can kind of control it. Now, of course, this is hard to do with one hand and hold the camera, but you can see as you make the shadows, and you can kind of do them both together. You can do one at a time. And I even have, um, by the way, the board is a Synthrotech PCB. So of course I'm using a Synthrotech sticker here, but you can, you can see as you can kind of create the shadow, you can get the different effects that you're looking for, or not looking for sometimes, but, and then by tweaking the, the pitch knob here, you can do some very different things. Um, but one thing I noticed while I was messing around with this by accident, so you can see I've got it on the table here underneath the light, and I came over here to the light switch, and so I was thinking that maybe as a future experiment I could get like some sort of rheostat lamp and kind of put it there and try to change the rheostat and make different sounds, uh, try to make pitches and stuff. 